What's up guys? It is that time of the week to take my walk. Greg, Greg, this is for you. You ready, Greg? <clears throat> That's for you, Greg. Greg's a subscriber and he always leaves his comment. Salad, salad, 5, 10, 15, 20. <laughs> you know who you are, Greg. Uh, all right, here we go. You got all your little grab, guys. I, I'm not going to, you know, what's open down here, what's closed down here. Uh, you can see it. There's the uh, Angola City uh, tourist place right there. Good guys. If you want to know what's going on, just talk to them. Look at this cat up under there. Look at that. You see that kitten? All up under the tire there. The little kitten needs to get out of there because the driver's not going to see that. And he'll take off and that poor little guy will, poor little guy will get uh, run over. I know somebody say, well, why don't you get him out of there? Well, I don't want to get bit or scratched by a cat. You know what I mean? Uh, so what's open through here? Probably the same exact things that were open the last time I came down through here. Uh, some of these places open up later on. The one on the corner there, they told me opens up later. Uh, but anyways, you guys see it. So, what happened to the videos? Watch out, I don't get run over. Uh, what happened to the videos? Well, let's talk a little bit. Let me explain to you uh, what happened. Hello. <laughs> They're open. <laughs> uh, let me explain to you what happened. First of all, I want to say it was not a troll. It wasn't trolls. It wasn't all <coughs> oh, the trolls caused you to take your video down. It was not the trolls. It was not a beater boy. It was not one of the beater boys that said, oh, da, 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 take your video down. Da, 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 da. It was not YouTube that said, hey, he need to take that video down. There he goes. He was not another YouTuber. I know people are saying, oh, was it this YouTuber that gave you a hard time and, you know, made you take down your video or gave you a video strike or, or, or whatever? Was it, was it another YouTuber? No, it was not another YouTuber. What it was was, and what it all comes down to is the expat rat patrol. What is an expat rat patrol? What is an expat rat patrol? Well, these are the expats here that are just so worried about what other expats will do and are doing they're the rats that hello <laughs> she's looking at me why is this guy talking to himself uh, they're the expats that are so worried about what other expats are doing here that they'll literally go and rat you out they'll go to the authorities and rat you out oh this expat's doing this Oh, this expat's doing that. They're rats. That's all they are. They're just rats. And the thing is, these rats are doing the same exact thing. Same exact thing. You know, oh, he's not wearing a mask. But the same rat is not wearing a mask. Oh, he's, he's out and about where he's not supposed to be. But they're doing the same exact thing. And somebody said to me, well, how do you know it's an expat? Well, guys, there are groups here, online groups here, shack groups and stuff like that. And they go in there 
and they talk about what other people are doing and they talk about what they aren't doing and everything like that and these rats get in there and you know what there's other people in these chats too hey philly you hear what they're saying in this group about you no no and they'll sit there and they'll screenshot the conversations that are going on and send it to me so now i got names of some of these rats that are talking about me now, now these rats some of them won't use the real name why would they why would they put their real name out there and expose themselves for being rats but others they do have their real names out there that's real simple you take these peoples and their names hey you run a check on them go on facebook look them up and on their facebook pages they are doing the same exact thing that people that they are crying about other expats doing it's right there in their social media you go on their girlfriends facebook pages too or their wives facebook pages too and they are doing the same exact thing that they're screaming about and ratting on other expats yes yeah, so let me tell you something right now you're not allowed into angeli city from another area i don't care where it is even dao according to the memo that was put out unless you have a swab test you're not allowed here according to the memo now are there people coming here sure sure they are some of these rats are coming here but they'll rat somebody else out for doing something wrong or or for whatever reason but these are the same rats that are coming here why because they know they're not being challenged they know they're not being challenged uh, so they come here but it's okay they can they can do these things but nobody else can you know it, here you're not allowed to be out over 60 60 years age you're not allowed out but you know what these rats will come up here and they're over 60 but you know what nobody challenges them nobody says anything to them these guys are just rats that's how they are and you know what for real ain't no rat welcome here ain't no expat rats welcomed in the philippines these are the same rats that will sneak up here to angley city or come from wherever and they have a girlfriend up here and they hide out here and they sneak around here but that's what a rat does they love to sneak around and hide but you know what who cares i don't care i don't care but they're rats that's all they are they're not rats are not welcome i don't know anybody that would welcome a rat but that's what they do so worried about what other foreigners are doing here and they will go to the authorities and rat you out remember get your finger pudding oh not today not today i'm sorry not today <laughs> the uh those that are pointing their fingers remember you've got three fingers pointing back at you what do you care what i do so why did i take down the video i took it down out of respect for a third party because what was happening is because of these rats they were involving a third party and out of respect for that third party is why i removed it um, but rats rats i know you're watching right now because that's what you do you rat behind everybody and you want to call people out and you want to rat on people rats i know you're looking and watching this video right now rats you're not welcome you're not welcome other expats don't even like rats here you rats are not welcome scumbags so that's what happened guys people wanted to know now like i said let me say this again it's not it was not a uh, 
a beater boy. <laughs> it was not a troll. It was not YouTube. It was not any other YouTube vloggers out there. It was taken down out of respect for a third party who was getting, who got drug into these rats and the rat lie, or not lies, but the rat, the rattiness that they do. So anyways, here it is. I could, I could talk about where I just walked from and everything like that, but ain't nothing going on. <laughs> I could tell you the same thing that from uh, a week ago. There's nothing going on. The end of the month, hopefully things will change. We don't know. Morning. We don't know what's going to go on at the end of the month. The 30th is the last thing that they put out as far as... Uh, far as restrictions um, so we'll see we will see summertime it's warming up it's getting hot thinking about next month taking another trip do some more diving. We really enjoy that, guys. We, we, in case you couldn't tell from our other video, we really thoroughly enjoy diving. Uh, we just love it. We love it. We talk about it. Every day there's a conversation between Lit and I about diving and things and what we did and what our plans are and where, we, where we're going to go next and we just love it. We, we love it. That's something you got to find here. You got to find something here that you thoroughly enjoy doing to keep you uh, to keep you motivated. I guess to keep you uh, um, to to fuel your, your 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 spirit. You know what I mean? To fuel your spirit with uh, with the anticipation of something because i've learned here real quick if you don't have something to look forward to or, or or something that you enjoy doing here you're gonna just get completely bored um something productive something when you're done doing it you want to go do it again so yeah so we are coming down here to the end of the walk. I'll shoot around the corner. I'll just shoot around the corner. Show you down the side road a little bit. Uh, little Freelance Park. Huh. Little falling apart, non-existent Freelance Park. We'll check the peso rate on the US dollar. Main Gate Friendship Terminal, <clears throat> 40. 48.20. What's the pound? What's the pound? The pound. Sixty-six ten for the pound. Oh, thank you. There it is. Sixty-six ten for the pound. <laughs> I'm always impressed with the size of these big chinillas right here. Bigfoot, Bigfoot chinillas. Yeah, they only put up the US dollar and I think it's the yen. Let's take a little shoot around here. Yeah, 48, 20, 44, 10 yen. I think that's yen. All right, let's just scroll down here a little bit. Show you the action down here. A lot of you guys know this area here. There's your food. There's the Eta. Morning. It's the Eta. 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 There's your fruits. 
More fruits. Buku. Fresh buku. Yeah, watermelon. Watermelon. Mango. Pineapple. Fresh. <laughs> fresh. <laughs> I know it's fresh. Ranger Bakery. More buku juice. This is what's going on. Same old, same old, right? Nothing new, nothing exciting. It's a different day. Good morning. And here we are. Hey, if you want to buy your girl some flowers, we have a little flower shop now. <laughs> and this area here Kalalong Chocolate House Kalalong Chocolate House anyway guys keep going down this road that'll take you down towards the Hensonville Bridge that is still under construction so anyways guys I am going to wrap this one up uh, like I said people wanted to know what happened that's what happened the rats the rats you know I'm going to tell on you I'm going to tell on you the expat rats, yes, they are out there, guys. Not every expat here is a bad person. They're not. But there are expats here that are just rotten rats that don't even belong here. They hide behind names. They won't come out and say who they are. Why would they? What do you do with a rat in your house? You try to exterminate them, and that's what should be done here. Somebody's rat should be exterminated. In other words, leave leave you're not welcome rats are not welcome period i don't care what anybody does they're grown adults you do what you want i'm not here to tell on you if you're doing something right if you're doing something wrong. i'm not here for that it's up to you you're the grown adult do what you want i don't care where you go what you do you're grown adult you make your own decision so that's what happened so anyways we'll just keep on putting more videos out and mr rat if you watch it to the end we got names anyways with that being said take care of yourself take care of each other take care of the sick the elderly and the young if you have pets take care of your pets if you have a pet that is a rat i know you're taking care of your pet but if you're just a plain old expat rat, you're not welcomed. You're not welcomed here. You're not welcomed anywhere in this world. 